What's up, Lynchpin? This is my garage gym tour. My name is Nathan. I live in Northwest Arkansas. If you guys ever find yourself in Northwest Arkansas, feel free to drop in and let's get after it. Okay, and I'm gonna talk a little fast because I've noticed that I go way long on these. So, let's get right after it. This is a 20 by 20 detached garage. It's insulated. The garage door is insulated. It has an attic. Uh, which I think is kind of strange, but it's got an attic space that maybe one day I'll push the ceiling up and get us, get us up higher where I can do ring muscle-ups, bar muscle-ups inside and not have to go outside. In any case, here's what we're working with now. Uh, plate storage, these are my pound plates. Uh, pound plates, tins, uh, here we go. This is an old bench from the first gym I ever worked out in. It weighs a million pounds. It's probably from the 1950s. It's a solid piece of equipment, but it's really just here for sentimental, sentimental value. Uh, these are baskets for storage. Pull-up bar, gotta have it. Rings, essential. Uh, multiple whiteboards all around the place. I always like to have one at arm's length. Some kilogram plates with collars. I keep my kettlebells over here. Some more collars. Somebody gave those to me. Um, let's see. So, in this corner, we've got more kilo plates, a little, some kilo change plates, uh, squat stands, Olympic bar, Olympic bar, and a ladies bar there. Uh, dumbbells, so a pair of 15s, 35s, 50s, 70s. Uh, let's see, got a, like a sled, wall balls, kind of random stuff goes up here. Uh, speaking of random, some sandbags, the feed sack, and the just plain strongman bag. Great tools, death by uh, sandbag over the shoulder is a bruiser, try it sometime. Got my GHD, it's the, that legit GHD is what I call it, where you can do uh, glued ham races on it with the rollers and just blast your hamstrings, and not walk for a few days. Uh, TV to watch Coach on to debrief us. Usually that doesn't come on until accessories, until it's accessory time, then I'll watch like Matlock or whatever's on. Uh, just like random stuff to cool down. Uh, two boxes, two is better than one. Um, I like to do like sandbag over the, the boxes. Uh, but otherwise it's really useful to have them just pull out and sit on if I've got company. Power rack. This was a gift from my mom when I was younger. So more sentimental value there. Uh, you've got to have the um, iron or steel plates for a power rack. A Texas power bar, so this is really just used for the power lifts, little power lift area. Uh, gymnastics mat, vacuum, a clean gym is a gym that's being used. Space for handstand walks and handstand push-ups. Is decided to get this flush with this little ridge that runs along the bottom. The, uh, the foundation. Space heater that does nothing. Uh, bands. I'm trying to work my mobility. Those are super useful. Definitely invest in bands if you don't have them. That's probably one thing that I put off way too long. Echo bike. Yuck. And then rower. I'm 6'1, so I love it. It's great. We should have more rower. Uh, there's a Concept 2 bike. It's inside. I really only use that for kind of active recovery. I never really mix it up into the workouts. Probably should. So that is my garage gym space. My taller pull-up bar is out here. I'm trying to keep it under five minutes. This is like a workout. Is out here and this is for bar muscle-ups and chest bars they have to be done out here so there we go I'm still kind of moving in so i got stuff 
back here, you know, don't, don't worry about that. Um, so yeah, wall ball target and uh, chest of bars outside. Anyway, that's my garage gym. I tried to talk fast, tried to get through it, but be informative. So there you go. Hope you guys like it. Again, if you're ever in Northwest Arkansas, drop in and let's have some fun.